I got out of a four and a half year marriage. It shook me to my core. I felt the only way I could come out of this was to make the film. I wanted to tell a story that connected with how I felt at the time, or the idea of loving somebody so much, but yet the, the concept of love is not enough to keep a relationship going. This film took over my whole life. Every fucking day, from 11 to 5, we wrote the story in real time. I was able to come in to sit down and watch the actors. That's when I realized that the characters that we had built had meat on them. And that hit me pretty hard. I've always had an affinity for the city. I could not imagine the story with those type of archetype characters that would have the same sort of depth, meaning, familiarity, and authenticity if it was anywhere else but San Francisco. This Is Your Song is not really a love story. It's a story about love. A story about love is something that we all experience. It's a feeling that we all connect and relate to. The story takes place in real time. It's the final moments of the marriage. It's this insane roller coaster ride of emotional chaos. The future of their existence is put at stake through their own peeling off layers of one another. It's such an up and down ride of moments where you feel the characters are gonna make it work and hold on together, and in other moments you feel that they're gonna fall apart and kill each other. camera, me being the third actor, there are these two lions trapped in a cage and I'm trapped there with them. So it's very emotionally, physically and technically challenging. The big and amazing part about this film was that we pulled off a 97 minute one single take. Peggy was carrying a very large rig of an Alexa camera with a master prime lens on her shoulder the whole time. And Peggy's a five foot two tiny short little lady that I could carry in my hand like this. But she's strong and she has a lot of stamina. Hassan urged me to hire a trainer to build my legs and my core strength. Technically, it kept me busy like for a whole year. Lighting this with just practicals, seeing the whole world on an 18 millimeter lens, and then Hassan, can we hire a taller operator? But he's like, no, I like it here. So he likes this perspective, this. And he's like, this is my like this, so I guess it works. <laughs> Peggy, the DP, she herself is a character. We had to basically do a dance with Peggy, the three of us. When we actually did it, me and Jordan, we were just locked in on one another and we never even noticed Peggy was even there. Did I feel this was gonna be possible when I first heard about it? A whole movie in one take? Fuck no. Think about it. That's actors hitting their marks at the right exact moment at the right time together with camera, together with sound, together with lights, together with everything else. And how do you choreograph all of that? The journey working with the actors was probably one of the most difficult but most rewarding part of making this film. Building the chemistry and the relationship between these two where they're comfortable enough to lead such a big feed of dialogue and emotion and physicality for a long take. The most memorable moment for me was our first dress rehearsal where everything finally clicked. The chemistry between the actress and I having to be in those really intimate states and having to really you know, trust each other was something that was challenged but also really interesting and something I really take away from. I've never done a project where it's just been me and one person. I learned so much from having to be vulnerable and figure out who Jules is while figuring out who Brianna is, and I think we both learned from each other. <laughs> hoping that the film gains some attention at some top tier festivals. We're submitting the film to Cannes, to Sundance, to Telluride, Toronto. This Is Your Song offers a truly unique and nuanced perspective on a universal theme that is as old as time. 
carefully weaved together in a single take, I think it provides a thunder of an experience all in one breath, leaving the audience with insight and, and finality and hope. And I truly think this film deserves a wide audience.